So let's just recap everything quickly. If you want to create your new class, you can say file, new unit. Uh, you're going to add your type, uh, the users, the unit type. Key learner is a class. On the private, usually all your fields. On the public, all your methods and your events. And then Control Shift C will also complete everything for you. Go back to main unit, add the unit, the class unit, declare the object according to the T learner, and then you're going to create, call your constructor create, or physically create an instance of your class, and then they might be calling some of your methods in that class. Usually it ends with a two string to display everything for you, and then you can free it from the memory. Okay, another thing that I can maybe add here is the constructor is a procedure that is called when you create your object. But you can rename this constructor. You can rename it to something like start. And then when you call that constructor, you must just make sure that you call it by the new name. So then you can't say tlearner.create, you should say tlearner.start to be able to call that constructor. Okay, so you can rename a constructor. I remember a constructor is actually a procedure. It's not sending back a value for you. Um, yes, and abstraction, new data type, inheritance, inherit something from a previous class, encapsulation hides some of the coding to the rest of the program mutator method uh, changes one of the fields keywords there that you might see is that it starts off with a set because it's setting values um, auxiliary is when you calculate something new so giveaway words is calculate or determine not always the case like this example which is actually a mutator and access and methods usually starts with the words get because it only is going it's only going to get values for you fetch values for you okay so this is the steps to create a class and to make an object according to your new class